Send it back. <laughs> Bring me a new one. Cute little baby. Hey, hey, good morning. Welcome to my channel. If not, welcome back to girl Andrea. We're gonna go tag some calves. I've already been at it, and then I was like, I should probably make a video. So, showing you what this lovely thing looks like. Um, Luna calf, lots of things to include you on, but we got a lot of babies to tag, so let's get with it. All right, I got my millions of tags. We had to pull a calf last night, that was backwards. So we just tagged her, pulled her down. Yeah, I see this. Hi, 208. I can tell as a heifer the way she's built. <laughs> really? Okay, where'd my trail feet go? Yeah, we're somewhere now. Yeah. her wrong kind of baby. Send it back. <laughs> Bring me a new one. Hi. Good job. You have the same attitude no matter what. Come on. She's not really a killer. She's more of a gentle love tapper. I was tired. Hi. Come on. Quit with the sass. Okay, take your baby that way then. Take him to the pen. Luna, take him to the pen. I'm going. So now we have a bunch to tag over here, like five or so. Oh. I got 20! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm guessing it's a big old bull calf. Oh yeah. There's our twin we grafted. You're doing so well. Your mom's mad. And I don't see any of the others. They must be further back. Just solid. <laughs> 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 she just stood there. 
I was like, if she really wanted to, she could be a jerk. Hi. <laughs> I'm like, who? What's happening? My friends. Yeah. Baby boy. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. 122. That's a big baby. Is this yours? <laughs> Woo! -wee! Woo! Yeah! Get it! Get that foot! Get it, girl! <laughs> You're not very nice. That looks like a heifer. Yep. Ain't keeping that one. I'll give you your kid. I just need this baby for a un momento. A girl, 306. She's one of the tamest cows, and then there's like a week where she came out, so she's just kind of a jerk. And I like tripped, and then she thought I was coming at her. So then she came to the bunk rail, and she got my calf in there, which it just feels like somebody once again home rolled it really hard. They're all tagged. Lots of bull calves today. Got them done. We are also over halfway. We are well over halfway now, which is fantastic. We're like eight to ten cows over halfway now, so we're. Rolling. Hello, babies. That's the jerk that got me the other day. Not the one that just did. <laughs> just making sure all the babies are up, looking good, and they are. We know that you're gonna be nice next year. You guys got plenty of feed. We pulled a little bit less silage, just so we make sure we have enough, because the pile's getting kind of sad. So it's a little bit drier. Right, here we go. But honestly, not bad. Boys, what are we doing? Oh. Um. what it is about these yearlings but they are just feisty little things and they pick on like the seven-year-olds and everyone saw the seven-year-olds put them in their place but then that happens and i'm like there's three bulls running from one explain what's happening but can't ever trust them they need to go breed a bunch of cows soon ish a couple months <laughs> explain how you got out of there in with the goats when all that's messed up is this and that's not a very large hole. Hello, Lot Willard. How did you, I walked by, you didn't even see you until you made noise. Wow, that's fun. Oh, good morning. It's the next day, because I just got busy with a friend visiting. Uh, uh, just take a wild guess of what happened at the farm this morning. Anybody got any guesses? Have you been here long enough? this season you know exactly what's going on twin set number eight is at the farm mom was on duty last night and this morning i mean it's like 8 30 but uh yeah <laughs> big cow twins so she at least like looked like she might have had them in her and she definitely wants one and is really not vibing with the other because she's kicking at it so we'll have another bottle calf which at this point, bonus calves are bonus calves. I think people have been like, that I'm not grateful for twins, but twins are kind of like a double-edged sword. Like they are bonus calves, which is really, really, really nice with how expensive calves are right now. But people are selling bottle calves for like a thousand plus dollars at days old, even run through a sale barn, it's insane. Um, 
it's extra cash to the feed lot because we feed everything out so it doesn't matter like what they are when they come they just also come with like complications at times so we've lost like two cows one we knew we'd lose the other one we lost because of the whole twin situation with the uh, uterine torsion so like it's just that piece to it um but i am like you know, twins are great for us, to be honest. Just at the point, I'm like, how many sets is there gonna be? Cause that's number eight and we're like, not quite 60% done calving. You know what I'm saying? Like, are we gonna have 10%? No, we won't have 10%, that'll be 20 sets. Are we gonna have 5%? <laughs> I don't know. You're in the bunk again? That's why I thought the little ones fit in the bunk. Good morning, girls. We did also have uh, <laughs> three coyotes in our pasture last night that Nathan was trying to get with his thermal. So if any of you know what coyotes are like, not fun, and we've had a lot in our area this year. So we were on Operation Get em. I don't know if we did because it was 350 yards away um, at night, but, and they didn't run when we shot, which is really weird. Five because she calves at cool before four with a little baby not any bigger than this, so I kept watching her all morning. But she's not tiny either. Sure. This is normal sized calves for some people. Yeah, it's a heifer. Oh, wow. The other one is just behind the alley wall because she was in the alleyway doing the splits, so. Oh, yeah, we're going to break. Yeah, she's got Healthy little set, two heifers, so exciting deal. The one is a little brockle face, speckle face, and the other one is a true baldy, um, and they're doing well. She, <clears throat> a cow helped clean the calf off, and she kind of cleaned her off, but mom said she was kicking at her pretty hard, so we just took her, and she'll be a bottle baby, because what's five bottle calves when you already have four? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not really a difference. Um, so, well, yeah, give her colostrum, she drink half a thing, and I'll feed her the rest in a little while when she gets an appetite again, gets her tummy going, and she's doing well. She's got a lot of energy. She's spunky, which is good. Cute little baby. He's sitting up so nice already. Good job! Hey sis, did you have a baby? Is it a cute little heifer calf? Yes it is! Good job! Cute little baby! Oh, she's so cute! That's a little baby, so I put her in there in case she's gonna pop another. Because this is a spicy pen. Good. So the one that got me earlier. Huh? Ding ding. It's trying to snow. I'm also sweating because I wore my bibs today because it was a little chillier. Bad choice. But I'm clean, so. I had a calf that looked kind of dopey last night, so I brought meds with just in case he still looks like that. He's kind of one of those calves that was born. He's just a big old bull calf. Has a dumb look, and I couldn't decide last night. Uh, if he was actually kind of feeling crappy or not, so I'm gonna find him here. And I have it with if I need it, and if I don't, I don't. So I'd rather let him kind of work through it a little bit if they can. I don't see him, he's right in the shed. You guys look so good, despite the muddiness, huh? Whoop, whoop. All right, climbing that pen that that first cow got me in that short eared frostbit thing. So, we gotta watch where we're going and what we're doing, and where she is. And she's coming, she's coming. Oh, her baby's right there though. We're good, we're good. We're sitting right here. Yep. Now you work for it. It's definitely not. 100%. So I gave him some very low-dose stuff. Hi. 
He really made me work for it. I'm out of breath. <laughs> but he should feel better. We got some uh, anti-inflammatories too if he has a fever in there. So He'll come out of it. Yeah. You've always had this look, but now you're actually sick, so. He's one of those that I probably coulda, shoulda, woulda treated last night, but he's not like, he's not that sick. Um, and I was rather gonna give him a chance, so. You're never perfect. Hi, friend. This is my friend. This is my friend. Hi, how was you? So good. So good. Round one of bedding done in the barn. We might end up bedding again tonight just to play catch up after that rain and moisture. And then now that it's not froze, there's some moisture coming out of like the ground and stuff. So we'll just get them a good dry place. That way the babies aren't getting navel infections and stuff. Tag some calves later probably, see what other babies happen. We had two more babies this morning during chores. So they're ramping up. And I think we got like 75 or 80 mamas left. So starting to get towards the downhill slide a little bit, which is exciting. And also kind of sad at the same time, so. <laughs> Kiddo is in here somewhere. Where everybody's sitting nicely. Found him. Looks a little better. Oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> but it looks good. I am on night duty tonight. So. Uh, first up, I just got here for the night. Um, it's like eight feed to bottle babies. So they're fed about 12 hours apart. This morning it was a little bit late. So that'll happen. They're getting old enough. But there's the four original bottle babies that I'm feeding now. And they're actually down in the goat barn. They were nursing on each other way, 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 way too much. So we actually had to separate them. Um, and they're down there because it was a little bit warmer when we got cold. And they're doing really well. Apparently I forgot to record while I was looking at the barn because there was absolutely nothing going on. Just some babies nursing, everybody's sleeping. I try to be quiet not to wake everybody up because I get some of the cows wound up, but no babies. <clears throat> All the ball calves nurse nice. I will go make sure this little one is tucked in here. Just sleeping. But yeah, it's quiet in here, which is good. I'm gonna leave the curtain open and then decide at my 11-ish walk um, if I'm going to shut it or not. Right now it's really nice outside. I think it's supposed to be nice tonight. We're gonna have a chance of like rain, snow, just a little. Um, so we'll see. But <clears throat> if you have any questions, let me know. Yes, twin set number eight made its arrival not long after twin seven. Twin set number seven showed up, so. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.